Welcome back everyone. I'll go ahead and show you how to screenshot on any M1 MacBook Pro, M1 Pro MacBook, M1 Max MacBook, 14, 16 inch, whatever MacBook you have is the same exact process. <laughs> so in order to do this, what you wanna do is you want to first figure out, do you wanna use the keyboard or do you wanna use your QuickTime player? So there's two different ways. If you wanna do it the way I do it, if you look at your keyboard right here, you'll see a couple of different buttons. You'll see your command button, your shift button, and the number four button. My favorite way of screenshotting is holding down command, shift, and the number four, and clicking the space bar. So that is my favorite way of screenshotting. Now, I'll go ahead and show you what happens with the mouse cursor when you do that. So right there, you can see the mouse cursor actually moved just by clicking command, shift, and four at the same time like I did. Now, when you click the space bar, look what happens. It goes ahead and changes it from this thing to this thing. So now what I do, and this is my favorite way of screenshotting, is it allows me to screenshot specific portions of the display or specific applications. Now, if you'd rather just screenshot a specific thing, you can go ahead and just hold it down like this, and it'll go ahead and screenshot whatever I just did. And you can see on the bottom right, which you can't see, it'll go ahead and screenshots. So again, that is pretty much my favorite way of screenshotting, is holding down Command, Shift, 4, and then clicking Spacebar, and then highlighting whatever portion I wanted to screenshot, and screenshotting that way. Now there is an alternative way to do this, and that's by using QuickTime Player. So if you go ahead and click on the search bar, and if you type in QuickTime Player like this, and you go ahead and open up the application, you'll see that if you look on the top left with the menu bar, it now changed to QuickTime Player. So now we can go and click on File, and we can go and click on New Screen Recording. Now don't worry, we're not making a screen recording, but we can click here and right at the bottom, you'll see that there's a little option that says screen recording, whatever. But what we wanna do is we wanna screenshot. So we can capture a selected window, we can capture an entire screen, aka screenshotting the entire screen, or we can just screenshot a specific portion of what we wanna screenshot. So the same exact thing before, but here we can just do it whichever way. So if you wanna capture the entire screen, you can click here and it'll go ahead and you can click capture and it'll screenshot what we just did as you can see. Now the other thing we can do, if I go ahead and exit out of here, you can save this if you want to, in this case I'll delete it. We can go back into QuickTime Player, click File, we can click New Screen Recording, and we can do the same thing with just a portion of the display. So you can see we're back in the same exact thing we were just here before. So here I'll just screenshot this. I'll open up the Finder app for an example, go back into QuickTime, click File, New Screen Recording, I'll click on this one again, and you can see I can take a screenshot within a specific you know, application. So here I'll take this screenshot, and you can see it happens here too. So that is pretty much it. Those are the several different ways of screenshotting on your specific new M1 MacBook Pro, 16 inch or 14 inch, whichever MacBook you have. As long as you're a Mac OS Monterey, it's the same process. If you guys have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.